My work looks at key factors um, that influence, uh, key message factors that influence people to make healthy decisions. So I have examined this in various contexts, such as organ donation, um, practicing safe sex, um, mental health, and prescription drug misuse. So for example, the work on safe sex indicated that when uh, people were exposed to messages that were more like testimonial in nature, they had uh, more accessible attitudes regarding um, sexually transmitted infections. And um, when we included a graphic with a testimonial message, um, they perceived the threat as higher and so hopefully took the actions to you know prevent that um, and prevent STIs and then research on mental health indicates that when celebrities make confessions about whatever health challenges they are undergoing uh, people are more likely to seek help they are more they feel more in control of reaching out to the sources to seek um, health information. And then my most recent work on prescription drug misuse suggests that in our sample, sample um, perceived injunctive norms, so what people expect them to do, and perceived um, you know, benefits of um, enacting a behavior that had an impact on whether someone decided to consume um, prescription drug illegally or not. So, um, so or maybe engage in prescription drug misuse or not. So, um, so m basically, my whole body of work looks at key message factors that might have an impact on why someone might adopt a healthy behavior or, you know, um, give up an unhealthy behavior. Yes and no, um, because you know uh, there was a lot of misinformation initially spreading about coronavirus, and you know especially on more um, sort of regional social media platforms, um, you know things were information was exchanged that wasn't sort of backed up by research. But interestingly, WHO for this particular outbreak has. Um, reached out to these social media giants like Pinterest and Facebook and Google um, to uh, curb the spread of misinformation, so to speak. So, for example, um, I think I was reading somewhere that WHO is um, labeling this whole thing as infodemic, that you know, there's just so much misinformation out there about the virus. And um, they reached out to, I believe, Google, or wherever you search now, they are trying to link to um, a WHO website or WHO sources so that you know, people um, have access to a more credible, accurate, research-based information. Don't engage uh, with rumors. Don't uh, you know? Just don't engage with the content that might sound shocking or interesting or just you know just so out there. But unless it's backed by a credible source, uh, don't share the content. If it if the information is coming from you know a friend or a family member without any sources, um, do some homework. Um, just you know uh, fact check. I know it's hard sometimes, but it's better to, like, that's the way you can contribute, by not spreading the misinformation. In this day and age, we are the producers and consumers of information, and information is everything. So I would just say that, you know, be responsible consumers and producers of information.